Come on, you stupid piece of garbage. What's wrong with you, you dumb car? Jeez, what is the problem? Sixty-nine Camaro is still in pieces. The fifty-seven Plymouth needs a complete restoration, and the nineteen eighty Camaro needs a bigger engine in it. So I did the correct thing for a man in this position. I bought another project, wouldn't you? This is, I guess we're calling it Gramps. I don't know. It's kind of a dumb name, but it's also kind of awesome because it fits the truck. 1984 Chevrolet half ton long bed two wheel drive Silverado um, got fuel issues with it uh, the biggest problem it's got right now and what we're going to do today is fix the gas tank because when you put gas in you might as well just take the gas pump and pour it on the ground and go straight through the gas tank and this truck has two tanks and like all of Silverados of this era with two tanks, the diverter valve doesn't work right, so it only gets gas from one side, and of course, it's the one that leaks. So we're gonna put a new tank in it today. Could be interesting. Probably won't be instructional because this is really not a how-to show channel, like ever. If you're following me for instruction, you really, really don't know what you're doing. But we'll put a tank in it and see if we can get it to run a little bit better by you know, getting gas to the engine. Could be cool, why not? We got barley soda, so at least there's that. Okay, the tank that we're going to fix is the passenger side tank, and I've already lifted it up and taken a little bit of a scope of what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off with simply disconnecting these screws so I can drop this filler neck back into the truck. Then we're going to lift it up. I'm going to cut the fuel lines because I want to replace them just because they're original. And then we're going to unbolt the bracket and lower the whole gas tank down out of the truck. And I've got a replacement gas tank to put into it and we will talk about that a little bit here in just a second. Okay, this is the gas tank that I bought to go in the truck. Uh, this is the 20 gallon size. There's also an 18 gallon or 16 gallon that fits in these trucks. So the 16 gallon is what's in the truck. But we're going to put this 20 gallon in place. From what I can tell, the difference is basically in this length right here, but it will fit on the, the factory hangers correctly. The, the other hanger is about here roughly, but it moves to over in this area, but the bolts are already in the place, already in place in the frame on a long bed truck. So this should fit. Those words could bite me in the butt before we get done with this. Now, two things about this tank surprised me. First of all, I was able to buy this tank locally in stock from not one but two regular parts houses uh there was uh about the same price there was about ten dollars difference between the two of them but the 20 gallon tank was cheaper than the 16 gallon tank and i did a little bit more research and as best as i can tell they both used the same sending unit so i picked up a new sending unit to put in it because i figured the likelihood of this thing being garbage and the one that's in the truck is pretty high considering how bad the, t the, the tank is. So we're going to put this in and see how it goes. Andrew says it's hot in here. He's probably right. Okay, that tank, 20 gallons. This tank, 16 gallons. You can see the difference, if they're lined up right, is all in this end. So what we're going to do, hopefully, is cut the filler neck down to make up for the difference in tanks. Now once we got them out, we're gonna also replace these three rubber hoses and then these go over the frame rail. So we're gonna replace the rubber hose on that side too. So this now we gotta make a quick trip into town and get some rubber hoses, but we'll be re able to reuse the brackets. Also, also we had to modify this. Right. This is the way it normally should go. I think I bought I could have bought the wrong sending unit. This could be for the driver's side. Yeah. But, see there's a slot in the locking ring for two tabs. So, we cut this tab off right here. So it goes under so there. So it will tuck in there. And then once and then we put the lock... this tab goes into this right. hole. Right. And then once we put the lock ring in, everything will seal up. And we'll just have to have a little bit of extra 
rubber line here, which shouldn't be a big deal since these won't be straight anymore. So we're going to go get some rubber hose, test fit this tank, and see what we got to do about this right here, this filler neck hose. So what we have done here is we have taken the filler neck for the 16 gallon tank and we have cut down the curved pipe. This piece was 90 degrees. We cut it down and we cut down the rubber hose so that this is basically a almost straight shot into the tank. And we have also done the same with the vent. Andrew is screwing together the connection that goes to the tank. So all of this assembly has to just basically, it came to here originally, roughly and we've shortened it all up so it basically comes straight off the fender into the tank so if you're putting a 20 gallon tank in place of a 16 gallon tank this is basically what you're going to end up with as soon as andrew gets that slid in place you can kind of see what all of this is going to look like and that's basically it Need to tighten these clamps up a little bit, but this connects to the tank just like normal, and everything fits. Piece of cake. Two thumbs up. <laughs> He's being obnoxious, which is normal. Okay, there's the tank in. See? 20 gallon tank. We got the uh, filler neck in there. It might be a little tight in that bin. We're going to see how it works if we have to get a 90 degree filler neck rubber hose we will but we'll see how it goes and let's go under the lift <clears throat> bong my head again it's hard to see up in there and hand me a flashlight andrew okay okay andrew's being very cooperative he's like eeyore <laughs> you can see up in there that we replaced the oh you can see the uh, led strobing too you, we replaced the rubber lines coming from the tank into the diverter valve since this is a dual tank truck so eventually we'll have to replace all the rest of them now we could sit here with a 20 minute video of us trying to start this truck but we don't think that's very exciting so this is basically how you install the tank now those of you wondering why we didn't put the plastic cover back on all of the debris, this is the plastic cover, all of the debris that's there is what was in the cover when we started. We didn't add anything to this mess. All of these chunks that look like concrete are mud that's in, that was impacted up against the bottom of the tank, which is why the tank rusted out in the first place. So if you really want to put this cover back on and hold all that trash against your tank, you can. You just have to split it and... and lengthen it out to make it work but there was no way I was putting this back on the truck we're just kidding we couldn't leave you like that we got to show you a start up get over there Andrew all right there's a bird in there yeah it might be the belt Purring like a pussycat. Okay. Now all I gotta do is a tune up and an oil change and check the brakes and the wheel bearings and the coolant and the transmission fluid and the universal joints. And what else, Andrew? Um, the exhaust, the tires, the paint. Well, the paint might be. It sounds good though. Not bad for a stock little 305. No, not, not bad at all. All right. Door hinge pins. Yeah, that too. All right. Well, this has been another exciting episode of Cooper Heavy Industries. Hopefully, you actually learned how to put a gas tank in one of these trucks. Um, yeah, the screen goes dark. Don't worry about it. Um, hopefully, you actually learned how to put a gas tank in one of these trucks. Uh, this is going to be one of our next projects. This is not going to be a big project. This is basically going to be a work truck. So I'm going to do routine maintenance on it in the next video. And then I'm probably going to clean it up a little bit. And we're just going to use it for hauling parts. Maybe I'll paint it. Probably not. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, thanks for watching. Ring the bell. Subscribe. Do the thing. Instagram. 
Facebook, all those things. Bye.